My name is Dave Chandler. I run the terrain advancement or trail crew in the summertime. I've always had a season pass here, and it's, now it's kind of a privilege to end up working here. One of the main aspects of my job, I guess, is to uh, you know to provide the skiers with a safe, uh, safe skiing or riding experience here, and you know working working with guys that help me every day, making sure that they're safe um, and I'm safe. You know, just taking care of, you know, the trails and the gladed and tree skiing areas. We work in the National Forest Service. Um, we set up a plan or our plan in the springtime, submit it to them. They come up, talk to us, um, give their approval or disapproval. And, um, you know, we go, go by their guidelines as far as, you know, how thick of the trees we can cut um, how high up we can go, how wide we can make uh, the new trails. And it, it is very specific, but uh, we work well together and, and it's a good, we have a good partnership with them. With dead trees along the side of the trails, um, you know, hazards to skiers, certainly if they come down um, as they're skiing or riding. Um, also, for the groomers, there's the potential, you know, at night, the groomers sometimes when they're grooming, they can't, you know, can't see anything. Um, if it's blowing and snowing, which generally it is. Um, so that presents a hazard if it had come down at night and they're coming along and all of a sudden there it is. Um, you know, with the brush back as well, to take limbs off, um, it'll peel the mirrors off the cats. And also, you know, for people who ski the sides of the trails or generally on the trail is to come along and if something's dangling um, there, has the potential to hit them in the head or, you know, body part. That's that, that just can't happen, so that's why we, um, that's why we do that. We take the, the trees and branches and we cut them up as small as we can. And um, you know, we want them to decompose, so find an appropriate spot and you know make a pile. Basically, it's cut it, pile it, drag it, and then cut the pile up. We may fill in you know, some holes and spots in between rocks, uh, but we want it to, to decompose as fast as possible. And, Sort of, and give back to the uh, give back to the ground. The trail crew that I work with um, on a daily basis can can vary. One guy who works for me full time uh, that's Hunter Moore, and um, he's been doing a great job. I do have several other people if if they're not in the middle of a big project, uh, Buddy Besson and Jamie Boto. Patrick and Vick has come out and helped me out too. We get along great. I don't know what they say behind my back, but um, that's all good. Uh, but yeah, on a daily basis, uh, we have a good time. When there's no wind, it's it's kind of eerie. Uh, but we usually have uh, have a breeze, uh, which helps um, get rid of the bugs. That's that's one nice thing that we we wish for every day. Bugs can be pretty ferocious. Uh, you've got no seams, black flies, mosquitoes, horse flies, deer flies, moose flies, and then uh, several different species of bees. And, uh, the bees are no fun. We've had uh, plenty of run-ins with the bees. I've come across two large bull moose. One of them came right toward me and I had to start the chainsaw to, uh, to get it to move along a little bit. Um, saw a mother bear and three cubs and they were coming up the trail where I was working and uh, she didn't want to move so I left for the day. <laughs> Improvements would be um, you know, working with the Forest Service uh, we've got some areas approved, you know, they, they were skiable before, skiing through some schwack and whatnot, but we've been able to put some lines down through and use the drainages that we found and um, able to brush back a lot of the regular trails that haven't been done in many, many years. You know, I, I moved up here a long time ago in the mid-80s and I've always had a pass here, I've always skied here. And to now be able to work um, for big resorts and um, and the crew here and work on the mountain where I've always skied is, uh, is, is pretty nice.